important. I call it living from the end. This is one of the harder ones for people to get, but I'd like you to go again to the New Testament. Look at Romans 4.17. In the presence of him whom he believed God, who gives life to the dead, and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. And calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Those are very important, significant words. You have to be able to call the things which you have not seen yet materialize and manifest into your physical world. You have to be able to say to yourself, I call those things that I would like to become as if they already do. And you place into your imagination fearlessly the I am's which you would like to create for yourself. And when it's time for me to write another book, I don't even know what it's going to be. I just know that it starts germinating inside me. And it's like a calling. It's like a passion. And, and I, it's as if I call those things. The book does not exist. I call it as if it did. I have a wonderful quote by the man I've cited before. His name is Neville. And it goes like this. He says, disregard appearances, conditions. In fact, disregard all evidence of your senses. That is what your eyes and ears tell you that deny the fulfillment of your desire, whatever it is you want to attract into your life. Disregard appearances, conditions, in fact, all evidence of your senses that deny the fulfillment of your desire. Rest in the assumption that you already are what you want to be. For in that determined assumption, you and your infinite being your extraordinary self, which is what this program is about, are merged in creative unity and with your infinite being, God, all things are possible. God never fails. And you are a piece of that which never fails. And you are going to move beyond just being a piece and just being a fragment and just being a segment until it becomes your overwhelming knowing that you have within you this divine capacity. You don't need evidence of your senses. I wrote a book a few years back. The title of it, I had to get my publisher because they didn't understand it. They called back, they said, I think you got this wrong. I said, no, it's called You'll See It When You Believe It. Not the other way around. People will say, well, I'll believe it when I see it. It doesn't work that way. You'll see it when inside you have a knowing. And Neville also said, therefore, to incarnate a new and a greater value of yourself, you must assume that you already are what you want to be, and then live by faith in this assumption. Now, this flies in the face of so much of what you've been told, because you have a tendency to believe that what your eyes and ears tell you is reality. But this is what we know by our senses. Just this little tiny fragment. I can't even get, you know, it's like a, a millionth of a millimeter. And all that is unknown is in the invisible, in the imagination. And most of our attention is focused on, this is my beliefs and my disbeliefs about what is possible and what isn't possible are here. And it's an endless, an endless universe. So placing I am's into your imagination is one thing. It's an intellectual act. Living from the end means that you call the things which do not exist as if they did.